Hey everybody, this is Owen Fox here reporting from Thailand. It's coming up to the new year, a few hours away now. It's like 7.16pm and I just wanted to say to you that what, what causes stress? One thing that causes stress is thinking you have to do things. That puts a lot of pressure on you, a big weight you're carrying. And when you don't do what you have to do, you feel bad. You feel you've let yourself down, ashamed, not good enough, self-critical. Have to do this, have to do this, have to do this. It's like rushing. Rushing is very stressful. Moving quickly can be very enjoyable, but, but rushing is stressful. Self-proposing rules on yourself is stressful. I have to meet this deadline, I have to do this, I have to do that. One typical state of the ego is thinking it's the end of the world if you do, this doesn't happen. You, if you miss the appointment, oh, stress. The opposite is having divine trust and acting from inner ease, inner harmony. So one way to counteract this, okay? Instead of feeling you have to do something, change your outlook. Stop the pressure on yourself. So let's say you have to... You have to bring your children to school. Let's say I instead I choose to bring my children to school happily because I love my children and I want to help them in their life. Personally, I don't. I don't like public schools. I don't. Don't. I don't actively dislike them. Well, I do actually. Yeah, I do. Like, but I'm not actively against them. But I do actually personally dislike them because I personally didn't like them a lot at all. But they're natural. Like, just all boys, all women wearing a uniform, like like a prison person. Just, it's the old way of the like bankers the illuminati <laughs> it's a different topic i'm going to self homeschool my children and as a divine soul i'm going to encourage them to do what they love and are passionate about and naturally inspired inspired at so instead of doing favors for people do don't do it because you have to but do it because you choose to and want to so if if you feel like let's say you have to finish your book by a particular time, this isn't the way I've been feeling. I've been just really laid back about it. I've been letting my inspiration and inner harmony allow it to finish when it's supposed to finish. Try and do things as as much feel good as possible, and then you know you're not getting stressed because stress feels bad. So if you live your life with an an a priority towards doing what feels good as much as you can. You'll be living the way I live and loads of people live. I don't know, your higher self feels good. It's got to feel good, whereas your ego doesn't feel good a lot of the time. So it's a really good thing to do to live what feels good. So that's it. Has this video helped? It's helped me, I suppose, to concrete this even further. I hope it's helped you. If it's helped you, please give me a like and think about sharing it. Maybe you could favor it, it and leave us a nice, lovely comment of gratitude if you want though, only if you want. But I hope you do because these things help share the message and promote our abundance t together collectively. And I love it. I love it. So I like it. You be help. You be, I like this stuff. I love it. So thanks. Oh, and subscribe if you're a new watcher. And I wanted to say, I wanted to say a big, big, big welcome to all new subscribers. Lately, I've been receiving quite a fair few. Welcome so deeply and much if you're a first time viewer. And secondly, thank you for joining. And please keep sharing, commenting, like sharing your thoughts. Befriend me on Facebook. And also much love and hi to all existing subscribers who already know me uh, very well or else medium well and god bless happy new year
and I'll see you again in the next video. I won't take any more of your time, but blessings and namaste. See you again, okay? Take care, sweet soul. Your lovely present. Bye.